Football Manager 25 is a long way away yet. FM24 has still got a few months left, but that doesn't stop us thinking ahead about what might be to come. So today, we're going to talk about our FM25 wish list. That's right, today we're going to cover five features that I want to see in the next iteration of Football Manager, which if you remember right, was announced when they announced FM24. They said... There isn't huge changes in 24 because 25 is going to be almost like a rebirth of the Football Manager series with lots of new changes or at least some big changes coming to the game. Now in this wish list, I'll be talking about things that I want added to FM25, but do bear in mind, I'm not a game designer. I don't know anything about what's actually going on at Sports Interactive and how feasible these things are, but I'll at least give my opinion. And who knows what could happen because last year we did this and I think when I watched the video back earlier, three of the five things I mentioned ended up coming true in FM25. 24. Nothing to do with me, of course, but it does show that they are trying to listen to the wider FM community about what they want to see in the game. So with that being said, let's cover the first thing that I want to see in FM25. Now, this is something that I think is a pretty realistic change. I don't know the ins and outs of coding and how these things would work, but I think a lot of us will say that new gen faces in Football Manager they bring the game down a lot. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything particularly wrong with these, but if you showed someone this picture in 2012 and said this is what the new gen faces will look like in 10 years, they probably wouldn't have believed you. They haven't really changed. Even though they have done a few tweaks to the new gen faces, they still look very much like obviously not real and they're just not even not real, but the avatars themselves look pretty stupid. The eyebrows always look strange and the faces in general just don't really do much for anyone. And I feel like at this point in the world of technology, maybe we will see this in FM25, that these new gen faces either should have a completely different, more realistic look, or they could actually be photorealistic faces. I talked about this in my FM24 wish list. There's websites out there that can genuinely just generate a person that does not exist, that looks 100% lifelike. And there's even mods out there you can get for Football Manager, where you can get human faces put on these new gens and um, but they're not necessarily real people they're ai generated images now with that being said the fact that modders can make this kind of thing happen it makes me feel like sports interactive could do maybe that is in line already to happen in fm25 but the first thing i'd like to see is these new gen faces the cartoonish graphic be turned into an actual photorealistic image of a human before we continue with my other four things i'd like to see in fm25 i want to ask you guys to go in the comments and let me know what you want to see in the next football manager because we're going to do a whole video based on and your suggestions in the comments below. So drop them, let us know what you want to see in the next game. Maybe there's some ideas we haven't thought of. I'd love to see it. And make sure whilst you're down there, you smash that like button for us as well. But let's get on to number two. Now this is something that likely will actually happen in FM25. We all know when they announced FM24, maybe you don't know, but they said that FM25 was gonna be based on a whole new engine. The match engine is going to look completely different. The game's gonna be built, not from ground up necessarily, but on a whole new engine in game. So things are gonna look totally different now that is something that I want to see I want to see these graphics not necessarily have to be FIFA level of good but we see out there now even small companies can make games that look better than this and I know it's not necessarily down to SI not having the ability to make a new match engine or whatever I think there just has been this general idea that FM isn't about the graphics in game and it hasn't been and that is the case that you don't really worry too much about the graphics but when they fell so far behind where other games are and when you see there's been quite a lack of improvement graphically in the last 10 years or so even though animations have changed and whatnot, I just think it is time now to see that new match engine. I'd love to see what it looks like. Hopefully it's going to look a little bit more realistic and not just, you know, a shinier version of what we're seeing here. I think this is probably the one thing that most people will request a new match engine and it does sound like we're going to get it. So fingers crossed the graphics are going to look a lot better than what we're looking at here. The third thing I want to cover is something that I do actually think we will see tweaked in the next Football Manager. They do make changes to this every year, but it's something I still feel needs improving and that's the AI in the game, whether it's the board that you talk to, agents, transfers when you're trying to buy a player, the general way the AI works I think needs tweaking. But let me give you an example of something that still happens in game that I think should be tweaked and a few other examples too whilst we're at it. But this is a Borussia Dortmund rebuild that I've done for my channel, right? Now over here, obviously Dortmund are known for producing lots of good young players through their academy and it's not necessarily part of our objectives, but over time in this rebuild, which by the way, you can see on my channel in the description if you want to check it out, we've been trying to get good facilities and you can see I've got there now which is great now to get those facilities obviously you talk to the board you say I want new youth facilities whatever it is the board can then very much reject that should they want to if they don't have the finances or they're not willing to and often you can then have a conversation and the board will say no and then you say you know the club's going to be left behind by their rivals and suddenly they accept that change now 
that's a conversation that you could potentially see happen in real life. Maybe you bring this to the board, the board go, fair enough, you've done a great job for us, we're going to do it. And that's okay. But the amount of times I've seen it in game, whether I'm at a club for one season or five, where I say, I want new youth facilities or I want new junior coaching and the board say no. And then I go into that conversation tab with the board and I don't actually have to say anything other than, I think we should have new youth facilities. And then they go, oh yeah. Let's do that straight away. Like there's no, oh, I might have to leave my job if we don't get this. No, before that stage even happens, sometimes they just accept it. And it's like, well, that's what I asked in the first place. Why does me clicking a button suddenly make them go, yes, we should have them. And you get the message up top where the board agreed to it. And most of the time, if you've had to convince them, it's a reluctant, we can see how much this means to you, let's do it. But the one I'm talking about is where you literally just say the first message to them of, I want new youth facilities. And then suddenly they go, oh yeah, that, that is a great idea. And you just think, well, that's what I offered in the first place. Why did you then reject it? Make me have a conversation with the board where I just suggest the same thing again. And suddenly it's a great idea. I'll never understand that. That's one example of the AI logic being strange. Again, this is just one picky thing I've picked out, but I've seen it a lot. The same thing goes for transfers, for example. I mean, I was trying to side Jadon Sancho from Manchester United. He was transfer listed. I wanted to bring him to Borussia Dortmund and he wanted a contract of 200 grand a week or whatever it might be because he was on a similar deal at Manchester United. Now that's fair enough, but he knew in this save that he probably wasn't going to stay at Man United. So maybe he could have taken a pay cut at Dortmund where I was offering him about 100 grand a week. Now he doesn't want to do that, fair enough. But then at the end of that season, he was let go by United as we expected, as the game probably knew was going to happen he was then a free agent and suddenly I went to offer him a contract expecting 100 grand a week and he was like oh yeah I'll take 25 grand a week and it was just crazy to me that he's gone from having these huge demands of 200k to 25k in a space of a couple of months because he's been let go by United. Now, yes, there's some logic to this and now that he's a free agent, he's willing to accept less. And I'm sure that it's very complicated to make the game know these things, but surely it can sense that Sancho is not going to have his contract renewed. That's a decision that AI makes. And if they know that AI is going to make that decision, surely he'd be more willing to negotiate on his wages. I don't know, but it's just something that happened here. That's a crazy thing to get Sancho on 25 grand a week when only a few weeks ago, he wanted 200k that's just something I picked out another example of the AI maybe not acting in the best way and we've all seen it this year as well Saudi buying pretty much every player under the sun giving them contracts of a million quid a week yes that kind of thing is happening in real life so it's not super unrealistic but the level of which it happens in FM is crazy so yeah that's something I just wanted to cover I think my third thing will be the logic of AI under the game just to be tweaked and be more realistic and make more sense. The next thing that I want to talk about is again something that I could potentially see happening with this overhaul of the match engine I also think FM25 as they are branding it almost as a rebirth of FM should potentially step away from this whole spreadsheet look the game's got and I know that is one of the appeals of the game don't get me wrong they don't need to go completely away from it but the fact that this game to new coming players is basically an email box that you go through and then a bunch of different tabs on the side and um, that don't necessarily look visually appealing I mean Mine looks okay now because I've got a skin on, but pretty much every player in the FM community will likely agree that some kind of skin, whatever their preference is, looks better than the base FM skin. Now you don't get many other games like that in the world where the main version looks so bad that pretty much the whole community will add a mod on to change the way that it looks, but it's just something that I think the game should incorporate, a better looking menu screen, something that makes more sense to new players, it isn't just an email box. I know there's definitely elements of that that you can't get away from, and that is just the underlying way of how the game works, but I'd like to see it tweet a bit to look a little bit more video gamey. I know some people might not necessarily want that, but it's something I'd like to see. I think particularly the amount of new players coming in through the console version of FM and also the mobile version of Football Manager has been top of Apple Arcade for a long, long time now. So we're getting a lot of new players coming to the game with this being added to Game Pass, with it being a game on PlayStation as well. So I think by making these menus look more fluid, you'll definitely encourage new players to stick around longer. Obviously, we're all used to it by now as long-term FM players, but I think for new players, they might want to see it look potentially different. Now saying that, they don't have to do a complete overhaul if they don't want to, um, obviously that would be great, but I think something as simple as just changing the way that it looks, maybe take inspiration from some of the skins out there, like this Tato skin, they don't have to copy it exactly, but just make the base football manager look a little bit better. Just as reference, I have just switched over to the base version of FM, I haven't seen it for quite a while, but straight away to me, I mean it just the way that it looks, I'm, you can see why everyone skins a game, right? I mean maybe some people like this, but I just think they need to overhaul if they're going to overhaul the match engine 
do some kind of overhaul to the menu system, make it flow better so you're not having to click into one screen, into something else, into something else, into something else to make things work. I don't know the better way of doing it. I'm not a programmer. I have no clue how these things work in terms of video game design, but I just think they can make the game look a lot nicer, a lot more visually appealing outside of the match engine. And the final thing that I'd like to see is something that a lot of us have called for for a long time, and I think it's something that we could potentially see in the next game, maybe somewhere down the line. It's something that I think would make a lot of sense, and that is the ability to manage youth teams only. So what I mean by this is currently if you're Dortmund manager, um, you can manage their under-19s whilst managing Dortmund. You can also manage clubs that actually have a working team in another division, say Barcelona B aren't just a youth club. They're actually a team that play in the Spanish division somewhere. So they're a team that you can manage. But I think you should be able to manage, say, Man City's under 20s, Man City's under 19s, because what that will do to the game is add so much more storyline to saves. It's cool starting unemployed and, you know, joining a job in the Sunday league and working your way up eventually to the Man City job. That's great. But I think another way we could have the game is maybe being an ex-player. You then come out and get a job in an academy of your choosing if you want to. Let's say you're, you know, a Man City legend and you start managing managing the Man City under 18s. You do a good enough job there, you get a move to the Man City under 21s. Take Enzo Maresca for example, he then got a job in Italy I think it was and then moved to Leicester and it just adds that storyline, that pathway of having that connection to a club previously and then maybe one day he can come back and manage Manchester City and that'll be a nice little storyline for you to have in game. Plus it's an extra challenge, managing these youth teams you don't have the transfers, it's all about the tactics and developing these youngsters and you'll have a sense of pride when you bring through a 16 year old, you move clubs down the line and you find them eventually playing in Man City's first team. I just think that's a cool way to go. Obviously, international management has been spoken about for a while as something that needs tweaking a little bit more still to be more appealing. Um, but I just think in general, less people are going to play international management than they would youth team management if that became a thing, because you can tie that in nicely. I mean, a lot of managers nowadays do start off in the youth team somewhere, whether it's Xavi Alonso managing, you know, some of Real Madrid's youth teams, I believe it was, like I say, Maresca at Manchester City, plenty of managers. It'll be a great way to add new storylines to the game and a new challenge. You'll be competing in different competitions before. You'll be trying to win the Premier League 2, for example, instead of the Premier League if you were managing the Man City under 23s. I just think by adding youth team management, you'll add an extra level to FM. But there we go. There's the five things that I'd like to see in FM25. I know a lot of people have different ideas, so I'd love to hear them in the comments. We always get the same ones of, you know, um, having a director of football mode, being able to build your own stadium, which sound cool, but I didn't want to include them today and um, because I just think the route that football manager's gone down is that management simulation route. It is called football manager after all. And obviously if you're a football manager, you don't necessarily design how big your stands look in your stadium and where you place the hot dog van. Um, but that being said, I think it's something that if we are trying to make it a bit more video gamey and more enjoyable, there are things that could be added. And I don't think anyone would necessarily have any issue with it being added, but I just don't think that's the way Sports Interactive will go. I'd love to be proved wrong, but yes, there we go. That's the five things I'd like to see. Let me know yours, smash the like button if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.